our right. You're listening to our coverage on 103.7 Nash Icon, WHHT, Cave City, Glasgow, and online at ESPNKY.com. And here are the... Up for them. That's their six foot post. And she went out halfway through the game with an injury and did not return. So that's a big, big area we have to control is the paint and the rebounding. The officials for tonight's game brought to you by Warren County Sheriff Jerry Peanuts Gaines, Steve Snodgrass Treasurer, Jim Chapman, and w Greenfield and Justin Grobel. And we got the Farmers RACC, Jackie Browning Memorial opening tip off in the first quarter of action sponsored by Citizens First Bank. Come grow with us. Bowling Green and Purple. With gold numbers and letters, striped shorts, Trojanettes in their home whites so with uh, Trojanettes across the front of the jerseys in burgundy and gold. Mackenzie England in the jump circle, Whitson for Bowling Green, and Marion County moving left to right. Tap is controlled by the Lady Purples. Keely Morrow has the basketball out front. Gives it off now to Raglan. And now Raglan angles off to the right side. Cuts back left, trying to go off the screen from Whitson. Drives against Hammer, throws it up high off the glass. It's no good. Bertram with a rebound for Barron County. Raglan's been playing better, but excellent defense by Hadley. Here's Bailey Pettigo driving, flips it up and in off the window. If we get layups like that all night, it's a Barron County. Steal by Hammer. She goes up with a shot, hit the bottom of the backboard. And uh, going to have a tied-up basketball. Barron County will get it on the alternating possession. There was no resistance in that left-handed layup. That's her strong side, and they gave it to her. And Bertram will toss it in left side of the basket for Barron County. Throws it way out front of the left side of Bailey Pettigo. Flips it in there to Bertram, left of the lane. Pops it up from 15. It's short. Rebound, battle for Tapped underneath the basket. And it is Brown with it. Giving it off on the left side now to Jones. Down low. Here's Whitson over England. The shot goes in. It's a good face up by Whitson. Nolan Green putting some pressure onto the backcourt. Hammer with a basketball. Throws it up court, having to chase it down. Running it down is Bertram on the right side. Pulls up Mason. Had it knocked loose. Scramble for Take it away from her by Brown. Nolan Green's got it on the run. Brown goes to the basket. Flips it up. It's no good. Bailey Pettigo with a rebound for Barron County. Bailey Pettigo working it down, weaving through, and fires it off at the right baseline. Bertram got it. Elizabeth kind of slid to the right short corner. Al or yeah, Bailey knew where she was the whole time. Comes in the middle to Brown. Brown gets it across on the left side now to Jones and leaves it out there with Raglan out front. Four to two, Barron County with played a minute and a half. Raglan giving it off to Brown. Brown drives left of the lane, goes up over Bush, shot blocked in there. England with it, gives it off to Bertram. Bertram takes it down the right side. Bertram now stops and pops a 10-footer in the air that bounces off. Bush with a rebound, back up and got it. If we get contributions from Jalen, rebounding and putbacks, that's a huge for us. 
Raglan with the basketball, angling off right, goes under, puts it up and hit the bottom of the backboard. Bush has got it, bounce pass off to Bailey Pettigo. Bailey Pettigo to the right side, behind the back dribble, bounces it off to England, goes to the basket, puts it up and rolled off the rim. Rebound to Bailey Pettigo in traffic, had it knocked loose, picked up underneath. Bowling Green's got it back the other way. Jones off the left side. Morrow drives, goes to the basket, flips it up. It is no good. Gets her own rebound. Back up, no good. Again, back up, blocked. Got to get a foul. Hadley should have committed to the charge the first time. She tried and then just didn't exhort the contact. Hadley Hammer, her first personal, first on the Trojanettes. Going to send Morrow to the free throw line, an 84.5% foul shooter on the season. Named the fourth region player of the year. Puts it up and in. What about this pace? We haven't played three minutes yet. We barely just played over two. And I feel like we've already played a quarter as fast and up and down as we've gone. Yeah. Six to three, Barron County. And Barton puts this one up and in for her second point. Six to four. Bowling Green at a 2-2-1 zone court press. Ball comes in play to Bailey Pettigo. She works it in the backcourt, trying to get around Morrow. Takes it down the left side, drives. Got to go up against Whitson. Got bumped, no whistle. Rebound off the missed shot by Whitson. Bowling Green's got it back the other way. Back Here comes Morrow, breaking right toward the middle. Cross over to the right. Down leaves it in the corner. Three ball in the air. No good. Rebound to England for the Trojanettes. Needs some help. And a whistle and a foul going to be called against Bowling Green's Taylor Raglan. We really miss Mallory when no pressuring because it's been Bailey and Mallory back and forth, and that allowed Elizabeth to kind of go down in the pressure and get in the spot offensively. Right. Now she's got to go back and help. Bertram will put the ball in play for the Trojanettes. It comes into Bailey Pettigo. Bowling Green stays in at 2-2-1. Ball goes off the foot, out of bounds, stays with Barron County. 5-17 to play here in the first quarter. It's the Trojan at 6, the Lady Purples 4. Comes into England. She gives it back to Bertram. Bertram races it down the left side. Angles off, goes to the baseline. Now comes back out, gives it off to England. The left elbow turns, fires it off underneath. Hammer lost the handle and then lost out of bounds by Bowling Green as Kia Gray just checked in. 5-5 freshman. Nice backdoor look, though. And Bailey Pettigo will toss it in. Comes in the corner. Here's Bertram. Fires for three. Swish! Gave it a little bit of space. Nine to four. Now Oak Tree three for Elizabeth Bertram. Oak Tree awards and recognition. More than just sports trophies. Bowling Green and Franklin. Bowling Green with the basketball on the left side. It comes to Gray. Gray covered up by Bertram. She almost took it away from her. Now works around the left side, goes in traffic, and a shot no good. Going to get a whistle, and a blocking foul is going to be called against Barron County. A lot of traffic through there, but looked like Hanley had pretty good position. And Hammer, that's going to be her second. Team second, and Carly Delk will have to come in. 5'9", sophomore. At the line is Tiana Brown for two shots, a 63% shooter. The first one is missed. Take a dip defensively, so Carly has to step up and cannot see that dip at all. Brown back at the free throw line for the Lady Purples. 5'11", junior, averages 7.5 points a game. Brown puts this one up, and it's no good. Ball tapped, and Bowling Green keeps it. The smallest player on the floor getting the rebound. That's Gray. Raglan will set things up for the Lady Purples. Gives it out top now to Morrow. Morrow's going to fire up a three-point shot. It's off the mark, and Delk with a rebound. Needs help, double team. Bounce pass off to Bailey Pettigo. Pettigo takes it down the left side, curls it back up. Nine to four Trojanettes, 4-14 to go first quarter. Morrow putting the pressure on Bailey Pettigo. Trying to drive, splits the defenders, lost the handle, loose ball, scramble, and a whistle. Bowling Green with the alternating possession arrow will get it. Bailey can't do too much. She dribbled through a couple of double teams there. Gray's going to check out, and Jones back in for the Lady Purples. 4.07 to play, first quarter. Barron County 9, Bowling Green 4. Bowling Green, Raglan with a basketball out front of the right side. Leaves it now with Brown. Brown works to the top of the key, hands it off to Jones. Back to the right side. They try to drive the baseline. Bounce pass underneath to Whitson. She puts it up and in. Coming from the left side. 9-6. Bailey Pettigo cut off. 
Now goes through and loses a handle, and they tie it up. Jump ball possession arrow to, uh, to uh, Barron County. She's got to trust her teammates. You beat the press with the pass, not dribbling through the double teams. 3.37 to play, first quarter. Bailey Pettigo, bounce pass in the middle of England, sends it over to Bertram. Bertram wants to drive with it, stops and loses a handle. Whitson's got it for Bowling Green, down the middle of the floor. Whitson, bounce pass off, underneath, shot put up and in by Ragland. Nine to eight, Trojanets by one. England gets rid of it off to Bailey Pettigo, into the front court now. Calling the play, 3-10 to go, opening quarter. Out in the WKU towers, Bailey Pettigo. Crossover dribble right, gives to Delk on the right wing. Feeds it to the high post there to Bertram. Bertram in travel, out to England for a three. That's way off the mark. Coming off to Marl, she loses the handle but got it back. Marl behind the back dribble. Almost lost it, gives it back out front now to Ragland to set up with 2.42 to play here in the first quarter. Barron County 9, Bowling Green 8. Ragland out top to Morrow, getting the screen. Cuts back and then gives it back off top of the key. Long distance three, no. Rebound to Carly Delp for Barron County. Off to Bailey Pettigo, long pass down to Bertram. Flips it up off the glass, good. Nice use of the body, guarding two Bowling Green players to flip it up over. Good enough for a First State Bank shot. First State Bank plus Scottsville Road, Bowling Green. Whitson trying to reverse it up and got it to go down. McKenzie's better than that. She's got a slot her feet. Gave up the baseline. Let her reverse it. 8-11 to 10. Bounce pass off to Bertram on the left side. Now cuts toward the middle. Almost lost the handle. Tapped it. Trying to keep it. Shovel pass. Picked off. Saved in bounds. Bowling Green's got it. Here's Morrow with it, taking it against Bailey Pettigo to the basket and lays it in. Set up way too early to try to take the charge to the right around her. Bowling Green takes the lead, 12 to 11, with a minute 42 to play in the first quarter. Inbounds pass comes to England, gives it back to Bertram. Bertram now will work behind the back dribble. Into the front court, hands it off to England. Back to Bertram. Bertram sends it down to the corner to Delk, fires it off to England. England turns and gives it to Bailey Pettigo with a minute 25 to go in the quarter. Right side it goes to England. England looks. Ooh, a dangerous pass. Delk there to get it, though, and a bounce pass. Out top, here's Bush. Bush goes back to Bailey Pettigo with a minute 14 to go. Pettigo on the right side over to England. England now looks for Delk, takes it into the lane, lost the handle, got it back though, gives to Bush, he'll fire up a three, banked it in! Wow. Just kind of look what I found and threw it up off the glass. Another Oak Tree three for Barron County. Here's a shot of the lane going up, no good, but a foul on the Trojanettes. And uh, you could also call that a first state bank shot. And a <laughs> Oak Tree three. Get a little of both accent out of that. Jalen's first three attempted and first three made of the year. At the line, Jones, the first one off the front of the rim. Very welcome to five points in this quarter by Jalen. Five of our 14. Mm -hmm. And for Bowling Green now is uh, Zanaya Owens, a 5'8 freshman. Also, Mariah Gray, 42, 5'11", junior. Free throw is up and good this time for Jones. 68.5% from the line of the season. 14-13, Barron County, 55.7 to go here in the opening quarter. And they're back to that 2-2-1 two -two again. And they pick up Bailey Pettigo, sends it off to England, back over to Bailey Pettigo. And they try to get it across the line, it does, on the left-hand side. Now it cuts back to the right, dribbles to the right, cuts back left. Now going to have to do something with it, and there's a five-second count. A little bit of a separation, but she didn't think it was enough to break her five-second count. Some changes in the lineup for Bowling Green. Whitson is back in. Also Jones, and we've got uh, Brown also back in the court for the Lady Purples. Put their more offensive lineup back in for the last 40 seconds. Raglan will inbound and give it right back from Jones. 35 seconds to go, first quarter. Barron County 14, Bowling Green 13. And Raglan will just dribble the basketball. They're going to hold it for one, looks like. 26 seconds to play. Yeah. 
Gives us a chance to catch our breath a little bit. Such an up and down game with a short bench tonight. We're going to need it down the stretch. Down to 10. Here's Raglan angling off to the right against Bertram. Sends it out to Morrow. Morrow wanted to shoot a three. Forces up the shot. Banked it up no good. Ball comes in the hands of England. Gives to Delk. And that will do it for the first quarter. And after one here at Diddle Arena, the girls' fourth region tournament, Barron County 14. You're listening to live coverage of the fourth region basketball tournament from WKU's Diddle Arena, presented by South Central Kentucky Community and Technical College. Now back to Diddle Arena. 14-13 Trojan Edge over the Lady Purples as we start quarter number two. And it's Raglan giving it off in there tomorrow in the paint. Throws it off the right side to Brown. Brown gives it back tomorrow. Swings it left side over to Raglan. Looking for Whitson. She comes over to set a screen. Rolls off. Goes left side underneath. Working in their spin move against England. Throws it up. It is no good. Delk with a rebound for Barron County. Gives it off to Pettigo. Bailey Pettigo on the left side against Morrow. Driving all the way to the bucket and lays it in. Twice. Gave it that left side. 16-13. Trojanettes. Morrow in the paint. Throws it up with the left hand. A whistle and a foul. And this will be charged too. Bailey Pettigo, that is her first, team's fourth. Barron County with four fouls, Bowling Green with one, and Morrow is back to the line where she hit a pair just a little bit ago. Shot goes up, and it's no good. Bowling Green getting to the free throw line. The Trojanettes have not been there tonight, but the Trojanettes shooting just a little bit better in that first quarter, 6-11, 55% compared to Bowling Green's 5 of 15 for 33. Hmm. Morrow for the second free throw toss. It's on the way. It rims good. Trojanettes also hit two threes in that first quarter. Bowling Green none. That's her fifth point of the ball game. And it's 16-14. Trojanettes cross-court pass over to Bertram. Bertram almost fell down with it. Kept the dribble alive, though. Crossover dribble. Baseline throws it up. It's short. And England underneath the basket has it smacked out of her hands and out of bounds. Elizabeth kind of easing back in. This is really going to test her knee because I don't think she's going to get very many breaks tonight. Bailey Pettigo left of the bucket to toss it in. Going to have to hurry. Lobs it out to Delk. Delk hands it back to Bailey Pettigo. She'll circle out with it out front. Started by Raglan. Played a little over a minute of the second quarter. Get rid of have it. to do something with it. Left side it goes to Bush. High post to England. Now back to Bailey Pettigo. Driving to the bucket. Lays it up and in. It's a left hand layup drill for Bailey. And Coach Head wants a timeout. And we'll take an Ernie T's timeout. Visit Ernie T's Barbershop across from TSC on Scottsville Road. And go Tops. Got a break in the action brought to you by Coca-Cola. Open a Coke and enjoy the game. The second quarter is sponsored by Bettersworth Motors, selling cars for 70 years. See their new location at 2315 Nashville Road next to WKU South Campus. 6.45 to go in the first half. Barron County 18, Bowling Green 14. Here in the first game of the girls' fourth region tournament. Barron County coming in at 25-6. and six. Bowling Green at 17-12. and 12. Battled uh, South Warren within six in the 14th District Championship game. Barron County winning the 15th District for the first time since 2009. Yeah, Bowling Green had a two-point game, four minutes left to go in that 14th District Championship game, and they're really speeding up the Trojanettes. Caused us to f turn the ball over five times in that first quarter. We've got to slow down and figure out what's open. The middle's open, get it to the middle, and then distribute from there. Do not let Bowling Green speed you up. That gets turnovers. That gives them fast break opportunities, which, to be honest with you, neither team has really had so far tonight. Right. Lady Purple basketball as Raglan will bring it up court. Raglan to the right side. Giving out to Brown, and she walked. I think they've walked a couple times, but it's kind of been in traffic hard for the officials to see an extra step as they go up for their runners. They've got McKenzie taking the ball out. McKenzie they're going to yeah. use more as a guard and let Elizabeth kind of rotate out. Hands it back to Bailey Pettigo, and she'll bring it across the line. Working against Owens out there now, who's guarding Bailey Pettigo. Left side picks up her dribble into the high post. Oh. It comes to England. 
England turns with it. It's got a shot. Let's it fly. 15-footer. Got it. He opened the 15th district championship with three of those. Bowling Green should know, based on that report, not to give her that shot. Barron County 20, Bowling Green 14. Here's Morrow. Three in the air. No good. Rebound tapped and by Bush. Up corner goes to Bertram. Bertram against Morrow. Puts it up. It is no good. And a foul. Collision on the support. Elizabeth knew that collision was coming and I think took a little off of it, threw it over the front of the rim. With the first foul on Marl, two on Bowling Green here in the first half. Elizabeth Bertram at the line. 53% shooter on the season. Scored seven points in the first quarter. First one is up and it rims off. Trojanettes with a six-point lead with 5.59 to go here in the first half. Trojanettes playing without Mallory Pettigo. They tore ACL over the weekend in practice. This shot goes up good for Bertram. i got a trivia question for you at halftime, see if in okay. regards to those ACLs. 21-14. That's Barron's largest lead at seven. 5.51 to play here in the first half. Raglan gives it out to Morrow. Morrow, top of the key, off the screen from Whitson. Pulls up, throws it across over to Raglan. Dumps it down in the corner. And back out to Raglan, long range right. She's got a shot. She's going to fire it up. Three is no good. Rebound to Bertram. Bertram throws it down the floor. It's deflected and stolen back. Here comes Raglan with it. Raglan driving in the lane. Flips it up. It's no good. England with a rebound off to Bailey Pettigo. Go again, got numbers. Bailey Pettigo behind the back dribble. And a pass deflected again. Here comes Whitson. Way pass up court. And a layup on the other end's good for Raglan. We're taking one dribble too much before distributing the basketball. Got to get rid of it. We got numbers. Yeah. Here is Bertram. Fires it and intended for Bush. Goes out of bounds. Stays with Barron County as uh, Lady Purples may have got a fingertip on that one. That was a bullet pass. Yeah, they've gotten it on the last three attempts at a fast break. We've had three on one breaks at that. Uh, fast signs of Bowling Green fast break. Comes in the corner to Bertram. Got to fire it up for three. In there. Second three. She's had deep in the right corner. An oak tree three. And that puts it up to an eight-point lead for the Trojan. That's at 24-16. A three, no good out of the corner. Rebound put back up and in by Brown. We just kind of stood there and watched on a rebound opportunity. 24-18, Trojanettes by six. Bertram trying to make a move. Can't. Gives it in the corner to Delk. Fires it back out front to Pettigo. All right, set something up there. We're getting pressure now. And going to have to do something with it. They stay with her. She's going to drive the bucket. Pass it, or the shot partially blocked. Here comes Bowling Green back the other way. Brown, front court. He's dealt try to cut her off. And gives it out front now to Gray. Gray goes right side. Morrow with a three-pointer. Good. That was the one you do not want to shoot the threes. You got 38, leads the team. Morrow with an oak tree three. 24-21, eight-point lead down to three. Bertram thought about it from about 25 feet. Now Pettigo getting pressure. Spins back left, gives it off to Bertram. Bertram fires it down in there to Bush. He puts it up and a foul. And I believe it's on Whitson. Yes, yeah, behind the defense, did Jillian. Got to make some free throws now. That's first foul on Whitson, three on the Lady Purples in the first half, and Jalyn Bush at the line. 73.5% of the season, had a couple of baskets in the first quarter, a two and a oak tree three, and she'll have two shots here. First one is on the way, and it's no good. A little short off the front of the rim. Our girls are tired. Not many breaks. Hadley's been on the bench with two fouls, and we haven't had any substitutions at all. And this is a college length floor, so you're talking about 10 extra feet out there. Makes a bigger difference yeah. than you think. Bush puts it up and in on that one. That's her sixth point of the game. 25-21, Barron County by four. Marl throws it back behind her to Raglan to set it up. Raglan on the left side of the floor. Raglan sends it out top now to Gray. Gray working around. Goes back left side over to Raglan. And ricocheted inside there, but Whitson puts it up and in. Strong move to the basket for Whitson, her eight point. She only averages nine points a game. 25-23. Trojanettes lead it by two. Bowling Green kind of backing off the pressure now. Man in the half court. Bailey Pettigo with the basketball. Right side it goes to England. Got Bush in the corner. They go back to Bertram. Bertram in the paint. Follow a shot. Nope, they're not going to count it. 
But we've got a foul, though, I think, on uh, Bowling Green. We're going to call a block. Morrow, second. Two on Morrow, and that'll be four on Bowling Green in the first half. I don't think they'll pull her. But it'd be an opportunity for the Trojanettes to go at her right here and get that third. That'd be huge. Bailey Pettigo to toss it in. Left side. Going to have to throw it off to Bush. And she turns and bounces it off to Bertram. Bertram now covered up. Giving it back out to Bailey Pettigo. Now Bailey Pettigo getting some pressure out there. Going to have to do something with it. Trying to drive. Flips it up. It is good. That was a tough shot yeah. for Bailey Pettigo. Up over top of Whitson. Gray's not very tall at 5'5", but Whitson presented a problem. There's Brown on the left side for Bowling Green. 27-23. Trojanettes 2.45 to go in the first half. Raglan around the top of the horn. Penetrates right down the lane and puts it up and in. Got to slide over and take some charges. You get Morrow coming in there. That'd be your third, or you get a point off from Raglan. 27-25, Trojanettes, two and a half minutes to go in the first half. Bailey Pettigo with the basketball for Barron. Crossover to the left, Ragland picking her up, going to the left side, got a drive to the basket, flips it up, it's good. Good call a moving screen there, even though it didn't get square because McKenzie didn't move. 29-25, Barron by four, Morrow over the left side, Brown fakes, drives, cut off in the corner. They head it back toward the lane. In traffic, shot blocked by England. And it's loose on the floor, but taken back by Gray. Giving it out to Morrow now with a minute 56 to go here in the first half. Morrow works her way in, throws up the shot. It's no good. Bailey Pettigo had it knocked away by Morrow. Down to the floor, calling the timeout. Good idea. So a Ernie T's timeout. As you can visit Ernie T's Barbershop across from TSC on Scottsville Road and go tops. Got a Coca-Cola break of the action. Open to Coke and enjoy the game. Trojanettes 29, the Lady Purples 25. First game of the girls' fourth region basketball tournament here from Diddle Arena. A full week of basketball here on Nash Icon. As later tonight, Logan County, the winners of District 13, taking on the District 16 runner-up, Metcalf County. And then tomorrow night, the 16th winner, Russell County, 24-6 against the Glasgow Lady Scotties at 21-9. The runners up in District 15. Final game tomorrow night, South Warren, 29-3 against Todd Central at 14 and 14. Boys will start on Wednesday. We'll talk about that a little bit later. This is a good one to open the tournament with, though. Probably the best first round game there is on the girls' side. Yeah. Hadley Hammer is back in the ball game for Barron County, giving Carly Delk a break after she, after uh, Hammer picked up two fouls early. Yeah. Hadley's got to have strict instructions yeah. just to back away and let a layup happen. Bailey Pettigo works against Ragland, trying to get a screen there by England. Back to back to Pettigo. Pettigo trying to go up with a shot, and she is fouled. I like that play. It was a give and go and give back because when they passed it back to McKenzie, they took for granted that that play was over, and we almost got a layup out of it. That'll be the 15th foul against the Lady Purples. And the foul was on Jones, her first personal. Bailey Pettigo, 64.5% shooter, puts it in the air, and it's good. That's her 11th point of the half. She has scored nine here in the second quarter. Barron County 30, Bowling Green 25. Bailey Pettigo, second toss in the air, swish. Makes it 31-25, six-point Barron County lead. Bowling zone, that's what I was going to say. Two, three, two zone. Two, three. Three. Yeah, three, two. They give it out tomorrow. Top of the key gets a screen, drives to the bucket, flips it up. It's blocked. Oh, Ooh, late Hadley. whistle. And she's saying, I got all ball. And that's three on Hadley Hammer. That's a huge, 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 huge risk that we took putting her back in there after she'd set the whole half. It didn't pay off. Two shots for Keely Morrow. She's three of four at the strike and has scored eight points here in the first half. This shot goes up and it spins out. It had not been great from the free throw line, even though they've had a ton more opportunities than the Trojanettes. Four out of nine, looks like, from the line. 119 to play here in the first half. Barron County. 31, Bowling Green 25. Eve Jackson, a 5'9 sophomore, checks into the Trojanet lineup for Hadley Hammer. Here's Morrow back of the stripe. Shot goes up. It's good this time. 31, 26, Trojanets with a minute 19 to play here in the first half. Stay tuned for the Jimmy D's halftime report. Bailey Pettigo 
With it for the Trojanettes. Raglan trying to stay with her. A bit of contact. Needs some help. Bounces it down in long. There's a shot going up. No good for Bertram, but she's fouled. And we'll head to the free throw line. That is on Brown, her first, and number six of the Lady Purples here in the first half. And Elizabeth Bertram at the line, one of two at the stripe, has 11 points in the first half. As uh, Bailey Pettigo has 12, Jalen Bush with six, and Mackenzie England with two. Free throw is up, and it's good for Bertram. We've almost evened the free throw total. Bowling Green had a huge advantage in the first quarter, and now I think we're only two short of pulling even with them a number of attempts. 32-26 Trojanettes, 104 to go here before halftime. Bertram, second free throw toss is in there. 33-26, Barron County, minute to play in the first half. Raglan with a basketball for Bowling Green. Off the left side of the key, sends it out to Morrow. Now Morrow off the screen from Whitson. And right side, they give it to uh, Jones. Back out to Morrow. They go left side. There's a wide open look. Three-pointer. Good for Raglan. She shoots 17%. She's hit six threes all year, so I'd have left her open, too. Oak tree three for Raglan. Cuts it to four. 33-29, Barron County. Bailey Pettigo bounce pass off to Jackson. Jackson putting down the dribble. Sends it out to England. Over the left side to Bailey Pettigo. Back out to England. Back to Bailey Pettigo on the left side, getting pressure from Raglan. 18 seconds to go, first half, bounce pass. Here's Jackson for three, down in there. Way to come off the bench and step up. Didn't know what line to stand behind, but it went down anyway for an 0-3-3. Driving is a shot blocked and a foul on Barron County with 5.4. Got to take a charge. Got to take a charge. Opportunities all over the place to earn those. Foul on Bertram, her first, team six, sending Jones to the free throw line, a 68.5% foul shooter of the year. She's one of two at the stripe here in this first half. The shot goes up, it's good. You got 5.4 seconds. You said to go that extra 10 feet, but still should give you an opportunity to shot, even a Bowling Green will pick up pressure. 36-30, Barron County with a six-point lead, and it's Jones. 5'8 sophomore at the foul line for the Lady Purples. Puts it up. It is no good. The rebound put back up. No good. Battle for the rebound. Chased down by England. Throws it up court to Bailey Pettigo. Can't get the shot off in time. And that will do it for the first half. It is Barron County 36 and Bowling Green 30. Let's go to Brian Webb. I'm standing here with Coach Calvin Head. in that second half like you did in the first. I don't know if Bowling Green's got a zone in their bag, but they weren't happy with us being able to drive into the paint and get left-handed layups. Maybe some kind of change coming from them. Yeah. Carly Delk will start the second half for Coach Piper Lindsay in place of Hadley Hammer, who's on the bench with three fouls. Trojanets basketball comes into Pettigo. Bailey Pettigo. Of course, Mallory out with an ACL out for this week. Right side, Bertram back to Bailey Pettigo. Trying to go back door. Lost the handle. Tried to keep the dribble going, though. Brings it back out. Raglan really putting the pressure on her out there. Going to have to do something with it. Had it smacked out of her hands and throws it in there to Bertram. In the corner goes back to Delk for 17-footer. It's off the mark. And Bush tried to get the rebound. It's going to be taken by Brown for Bowling Green. And Raglan will bring it up for the Lady Purples now. 30 seconds into the third quarter. They feed it in the lane there to Brown. She flips up the shot. It's no good. Rebound off to Bailey Pettigo. Long pass down the floor to Bertram. Bertram goes under, lays it up and in. Ooh, barely stuck over the side of the rim. On the fast signs of Bowling Green, fast break. Bertram gets her 15th point. 38-30, Trojanettes tie their largest lead of the ball game. Angling off to the right side. They give it out to Morrow, top of the key. Working to the left. Pops it up from 18 feet. It's off the mark. Rebound to England. England hands it off to Bailey Pettigo. Bailey Pettigo working the left side of the floor. Now we'll bring it back out front. She's guarded this time by Jones. They keep a fresh player on Bailey Pettigo. High post comes to England in the key. Turns with it. And now looks for help. Getting some pressure from Whitson. And now throws it back over to Bertram. Three ball in the air is no good. Whitson with a rebound for Bowling Green. She pushes it down the floor on the fast signs of Bowling Green. Fast break. Goes to the bucket. Lays it up too strong. A whistle and a foul on Elizabeth Bertram. Got to get back. It's Elizabeth's second foul. She just needs to get back instead of worrying about guarding the ball 40 feet from the basket. First of the second half. 
and Whitson at the line, a 68% foul shooter, had eight points in the first half on four baskets. There's only one senior on this Bowling Green team, and that is Keely Morrow. Whitson only a sophomore at six feet. First one is good. You think about losing Mallory, too. Here's another thing. She's a guard that rotates back sometimes. So we've got somebody playing out of position that doesn't know to rotate back, get back on defense, giving Bowling Green fast breaks. Whitson with nine points now. And she can put it up and no good. Rebound comes off to Bailey Pettigo. Long rebound right after the free throw line. Bailey Pettigo gets rid of it in the corner to Bertram. Now Bertram picks up her dribble and loose wow. ball stolen. Turnover by Barron. Baseball it up to Ragland. She'll lay it up. It's no good. Rebound taken by Bailey Pettigo and a foul on Ragland. Her second, Bowling Green's first of the second half. Fortunate turn of events for the Lady Purples. Piper's got to make a change. She's got to get somebody rotated back to keep them from getting those layup opportunities. And England looking to get the ball inbounds. Going to have to hurry. Gets it into Bailey Pettigo. And now they got Ragland guarding her this time. Trying to get it across. Takes it left side. Now calls the play. Pettigo, 6.06 to go, third quarter, Barron up by seven. Delk had an open look, Bertram free throw line, works it into the paint, has it tipped away, turnover by Barron, here comes Whitson with it for Bowling Green. We'll hand it off out to Jones. Jones out front with it on the left side for the Lady Purples. Jones trying to make a move on Delk, leaves it in the corner, three ball out of the corner, good for Brown. For Oak Tree, three. That's it to four, 38-34. Brown shoots nine percent from three on the year. Wow. Getting some big shots. That is their second three of the ball game. 38-34 Trojanettes. And we're going to get a moving screen on McKenzie England. Yeah, she put her body into that one. Leaned over just ever so slightly right in front of the official. That's an easy call. Yeah, England's first. That'll be Barron County's second of the half. 5.25 to go, third quarter, Barron County 38, Bowling Green 34. Right side with it is Ragland. They give it out to Brown. Brown's going to drive against Bush, goes to the basket and lays it in. There's no need for her to be out 30 feet, Gardner. She's got to sit back in the post. Bailey Pettigo, a lot of pressure from Ragland out there. We come down to five minutes. We got a two-point ball game, 38-36. England on the left side, or right side, excuse me, fires it out to Delk. And a whistle to time out. Called by Coach Piper Lindsay. And this will be an Ernie T's timeout. As we have a Coca-Cola break in the action. Open a Coke and enjoy the game. Not sure if we have any other scores to pass along to you from some of the other region tournaments going on tonight on the McDonald's scoreboard update. Nothing from the third region. And... Not sure if we've got anything from the fifth region right now. 4.56 to play. You got something? No, I don't. I was going to say I don't have anything. It's going to be hard for us to get updates, just uh, updates of interest especially. Well, Edmondson County playing in the third region. And uh, it's a good timeout for Coach Lindsey, though. I, I think we might even need to go back zone on defense right now, but we've got to get something going offensively. Delk will toss it in. Delk gets it into England, turns with it, fires it back out front. And now we've got a foul call on Raglan. Couldn't see if the referee was right in my way. Yeah. I'm not sure what she did. That's going to be her third. It was an easy call. I, I, I had a little better angle on you. She just tried to reach in, and she grabbed her by the arm instead of trying to go for the basketball. Second of a half against the Lady Purples. Pass comes out to Bailey Pettigo. As Raglan is staying in the ball game right now with those three fouls. Working right side, reversing back. Pettigo gets cut off by Whitson. Oh, dangerous pass going to be picked off. Trying to throw it to Bertram. And it's Brown with a basketball for Bowling Green. Left side, Morrow goes into the paint. Spin move up with a shot, rimmed off. And rebound to England for Barron. Long pass down the floor. Bertram goes under. Block out of bounds. It'll stay with the Trojanettes. Haven't got any of those opportunities in the second half yet. Our offense is really struggling. Bailey is tired because she's had to handle the basketball every offensive possession. And Ragland's going to go out now with those three fouls for Bowling Green. 
as they get Gray back in. England in the corner. Hands it off to Bailey Pettigo. She'll circle it back out with 4.17 to go in the third. Barron County up by two. Jones out there putting pressure on Pettigo now. Delk in the corner. Lobs it over to the left side to Bertram. And now Bertram fires it down to Bush. She'll throw up the shot in. It's blocked on her. And take it away. Bowling Green's got it. They can tie the game on the fast signs of Bowling Green. Fast break. Shot underneath. And it's up and in. Only two points from the Trojanettes this quarter. We have to look to the post. Jalen's not going to be able to post up against the size of Bowling Green. We need to get McKenzie on the block, get her the ball, and go to work. Jones gets her first field goal tonight. We're tied at 38. Eight-nothing run for Bowling Green. Bailey Pettigo on the dribble, working left side. Now gives it off to England. England wants to do something with it. Fires it back to Bailey Pettigo. Throws it up at short. Battle for the rebound. Put back up. Shot over the rim by Bush. And we're going to get a whistle and a foul on Jalen Bush. Be her first. Aaron County's third of the second half. When do we put Hadley back in? The answer is now. And she's playing with three fouls, and Jalen Bush will go out. Yeah, you're struggling defensively, though. You've got to put her back in right now as they've been able to come back and tie the game. Yaz and Jones with it for Bowling Green. Peers off to the right side, looks left, gives it out to Brown. Brown drives against Delk. Delk cuts her off, gives to Morrow. Morrow on the left side, heads toward the paint, out to Whitson, top of the key. Over the right side, back to Jones. Jones back out to Morrow. Morrow trying to drive, spin move, and a whistle. Traveling violation, got in some traffic. We're banding our defensive principles a little bit because we're going so far out and guarding Bowling Green. That's not what we've done all year long, and we're guarding kids that really aren't shooters. Bailey Pettigo will walk it up now. 2.57 to go in the third quarter, tied at 38. Pettigo out of the right side. Really getting pressured out there by Gray. Gives it to Delk. Delk turns, passes, deflected up in the air. Morrow's got it for Bowling Green. Morrow driving, whistle, and a foul. And it'll be on Carly Delk. That'll be her first. Barron County's fourth of the second half. Just haven't been able to continue the shooting clip that we had in the first half. And got to see what we can do over the last 242 to keep Bowling Green from having all the momentum. Eve Jackson checks in for Carly Delk. Morrow, right corner, turns and fires. A three-pointer, no good. Whitson puts it back up, no good. Battle for the rebound. England had it, lost it. And now Jones throws it away. Aaron County's ball with 2.31 to go here in the third. 38-38. Bailey Pettigo with the basketball for the Trojanettes. Hammer out of the right side. Looks and sends it out to England. Fires it down to Hammer. Left shovel pass into Bailey Pettigo, and she's going to be fouled. Maybe free throws can get us going. Foul is going to be charged to Gray. That's her first. Bowling Green's third of the second half. And Bailey Pettigo at the line. 12 points in the first half. Coach, and that's only one field goal here in the third quarter. Free throws good for Bailey Pettigo for point number 13. No good. Or excuse me, I'm yeah. sorry. She'll have one more. Try to give Barron County back the lead here. And puts it up in the air, and it rims good. So Barron County, one point lead, 39-38, 2.14 to go here in the third quarter. And driving with it is Jones. She'll give it out to Whitson. Whitson now sends it off for a three-point try in the air. No good. England with a rebound. Clears it out, gives it off to Bailey Pettigo. Bailey Pettigo pushing it down the left side of the floor. In the corner goes to Bertram. Bertram on the dribble. Back out front to Hammer. Hammer gives it back out to Bailey Pettigo. Bailey Pettigo working the right side of the floor. Drives, throws it up in the lane. It's blocked foul. Nice. I liked it from Bailey. Did you see what she do? She used her right hand. Bowling Green very much overplaying the left. And she took the driving lane on the right-hand side. Foul is going to be charged to Brown, her second. That'll be Bowling Green's fourth. Free throw is up. It's good for Bailey Pettigo. That is her 14th point of the game. 
Barron backed up by two at 40-38 with a minute 43 to play here in the third quarter. Now Ragland played with those three fouls as return to the Bowling Green lineup. Shot goes up off the front of the rim by Bailey Pettigo. And here comes Bowling Green back the other way to tie it up on a two or go ahead on a three with a minute 35 to go here in the third quarter. Virgin at so zone, last possession, back in it again. Raglan, and giving it back out to Whitson. Whitson will send it back around the perimeter left. Jones, Whitson, 15-footer, is off the mark. Rebound taken by Bailey Pettigo. On the pass, signs of Bowling Green, fast break, and going to get a traveling violation on Bailey Pettigo. She bobbled it when she went to pick it up and get it off to Elizabeth on the left side. 116 left in the third. I really think zone's the way to go right now. Foul trouble, tired. Yeah. If we can rebound out of it, I play it. Raglan off to the left side, gives it out top to Morrow. Morrow off the screen from Whitson, goes down in the corner to Jones, back to Morrow, back to Jones, going to fire it out of the corner for three. Good. You can't stay in. 3 3. Bowling Green takes the lead 41 40, 51 seconds to go in the third quarter. Bailey Pettigo, bounce pass right over to Hammer. Feeds it in there to Bertram. In a lot of traffic, going to have to do something with it. Jump ball, possession arrow to the Lady Purples. Elizabeth, they're playing her left hand. Playing her left hand, she can't cut back on the left side. She's got to learn from what Bailey did a while ago and use the right. 40.4 to go here in the third quarter. Bowling Green. He's only led a couple of times by one. One the first time early in the ball game. They've only led by once, by one, one yeah. time, and that was with 149 to go in the first period. Right. Bowling Green may hold it for one shot out here. Raglan just across the midcourt line. Down to 25 seconds to play here in the third. No need to go get her. Raglan, yep, down to 15. Raglan, off left side, and Hammer. Oh, oh I thought maybe uh, Jones touched it last, but uh, I would be inclined to agree with you, even though we're about 40 feet away from it. 10.6 to go. Lady Purples, here's Jones, giving it off to Raglan. Back to Jones, six seconds. Morrow in the left corner. She traveled. 3.9. Trojanette still have a chance here. Yeah, Bowling Green take the lead before point. the end of the quarter. Back in the ball, number five, Kyle Gray. At number 15, Xavier Owens. At 42, Loyal Gray. 3.9 left. Barron County's basketball. Hammer in front of the Bowling Green bench. Gets the ball in play to Bailey Pettigo. She's trying to hurry. Throws up a long shot. Almost packed it in. Out of the WKU towel. That will do it for the third quarter. Bowling Green on O'Reilly Auto Parts. Increase oil life, eliminate dry starts, save gas, and reduce wear with a 32-ounce bottle of Lucas Oil Stabilizer or Fuel Treatment at O'Reilly Auto Parts. Better parts, better prices every day. Limit supply. See store for details. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Listening to live coverage of the fourth region basketball tournament from WKU's Diddle Arena, presented by South Central Kentucky Community and Technical College. Now back to Diddle Arena. 41-40, Bowling Green over Barron County as we start the fourth quarter. Jay Turner with Robert Bauer courtside at Diddle Arena. Bailey Pettigo working out front against Raglan. Bounce pass right side over to Bertram. Bertram fires it out to England, top of the circle. Gets rid of it to Bailey Pettigo on the left side. Back out to England. Right side it goes to Jackson. Jackson looking inside. Can't go. Going to have to do something with it. Puts down the dribble against Morrow. Gives it back out to England. Now fires it back off to Bailey Pettigo. Bailey Pettigo out of the right side. Gives it over to Hammer. Now Hammer looking, trying to go back inside, can't go, and then gives it back out to England. England getting pressure from Whitson, fires it back to the right side. It's Eve Jackson with the basketball, stops in the paint, gives it off to Bertram on the left side. Bertram bringing it back out. Circles around to the right, fires up a three, it's partially blocked and pulled down out of the air by Morrow. Morrow angling off to the right. Morrow driving underneath, shot put up and in by Jones. 
Everybody blew by and Hadley had to commit. She was back to safety net. 43-40, ball poked away from behind and it goes out of bounds. 6.58 to go here in the fourth. 43-40, Bowling Green. In the last nine minutes, the Trojanettes just 1-4-8. Bertram to toss it in. It comes into Hammer, fires it out to England, hands it off to Bailey Pettigo. Bailey Pettigo over to Eve Jackson. Down in the corner goes to Hammer. Now Hammer back to Jackson. Jackson looking. Now puts down one dribble, fires it back to Hammer, trying to throw to the top, and it's pulled down. Another turnover by Barron. Up court it goes to Morrow. Morrow stops and pops. Left elbow. Shot no good. Rebound by Whitson. Back up and in. At seven turnovers in the third period and adding to that total here in the fourth. Bowling Green up five. And Bailey Pettigo in the lane. Flips it over to Hammer on the left side. Back out to Jackson. Three-pointer in the air. No way off the mark. Whitson's got it for Bowling Green. Whitson almost threw it away. Chased down, though, by... Brown and now Bowling Green will set it up with a five-point lead. 6:06 to go in the ball game. It's been over nine minutes since Barron County's had a field goal. Their last field goal, seven minutes and 19 seconds in the third period. Raglan going strong, runs into Hammer. That's going to be a collision and an offensive foul on Raglan, and that's her fourth, team's fifth of the second half. It changes Bowling Green's defensive philosophy. She has to come out of the game. Fourth quarter sponsored by Gary Force Paint and Body Shop on Vanderbilt Drive. They work with most all of major insurance companies, and it's nowhere near the roundabout. Trojanettes down four against Lady Purples. 5.56 to play. And Bailey Pettigo getting a lot of pressure out there from Gray. Bounce pass in the middle to England. England turns with it. Whistle. And they're going to call Gray with a holding foul on Bailey Pettigo. Big Gray second, Lady Purple sixth of the half. And Carly Delk back in the ball game for the Trojanettes. Barron County outscored that third quarter, 11 to four. Ball comes out to Hammer. And now Hammer on the dribble on the left side. Veers off to the right, gives to Delk. That Delk. Throws it back out to Hammer. Across it goes to Bertram. Trying to drive around her defender, Jones. Forces up the shot. It's no good. Rebound to Whitson, and Bertram comes over the back. It's a frustration foul. Her third, team's fifth of the second half. Elizabeth has to get in ball. We've got to figure out a way offensively just to run through our motion offense and not get frustrated with Bowling Green's pressure, which we are big time right now. Morrow will put the ball in play as it comes into Gray. Gray racing down the floor with it on the right side. Now curls out to the corner, sends it back out to Morrow. Lost the handle, loose ball, scramble. Scoots it out over to Gray. Goes baseline, goes across the lane. Back out around the perimeter. Here's Whitson with it out top. Whitson, crossover move. Goes down the lane, puts it up. It's no good. Ball slapped away and taken by Morrow. Shot blocked by England. She tried to throw it up. To, and then Bowling Green keeps it alive. With five minutes to go in the ball game, leading Barron County 45-40. Out of the right side with it is Jones against Bertram. Sends it out now to Morrow. Morrow, top of the key, lets it go, got it. She knows she's the best player offensively on the floor right now. Elizabeth has to answer. Barron County will take a timeout. And we're down to 4.41 to go. 48-40, Bowling Green. It's 18 to 4 since halftime. Right. 18 to 4 in the last 13 minutes and 19 seconds. Take an Ernie T's timeout, and we have a Coca-Cola break in the action. Logan County, Metcalf County coming up next here from Diddle Arena. We'll have all the action right here for you. High scoring game didn't think would favor the Trojanettes, especially being down Mallory. But I didn't think we would go and shoot as well as we did in the first half, in this half, but also didn't think we would just have one field goal to this point either. Right. Good Bowling Green credit. They've definitely changed their defensive philosophy. They have overplayed that left hand, and we have not made an adjustment.
give Bowling Green more credit, too, because it is the, what, 30th-some game of the season? 32nd game of the season, and nobody's been able to do it up to this point. Guard our left hand, but they've done it well. Yeah. Delk will toss it in. Comes into England. Of course, you miss uh, Mallory Pettigo, another ball handler in right. there tonight. It's been a difference, too. Bailey Pettigo having to do most of the ball handling. Over it goes to Hammer on the right side. Hammer out top to England. He can shoot it. Yep. Throws it in there to Bailey Pettigo. Going to get a whistle and a foul. It's going to be the seventh Bowling Green foul, so the Trojanettes will shoot the bonus here. It's on Gray, her third. And Bailey Pettigo, two, or actually four of six from the foul line, will have one of the bonus. Shot goes up, and it's good. Barron County, only one field goal here in the second half. Three of five from the foul line. 48-41, Bowling Green. Bailey Pettigo, bonus try, no. And rebound comes off to Whitson. And it's Brown with it in the backcourt. Gets it across the midcourt stripe. Hands it off out to Jones. Now Jones veers off to the right side. Jones gives it out to Morrow. Morrow working to the left side. And try to take some time off the clock here. Just under four minutes to go. Bowling Green 48, Barron County 41. Morrow going to the left side. Drives. Splits the defenders. A whistle and going to get a foul. David. Her second and the team six. It's going to be two shots. Keely Morrow. First one goes up and it rims off. She's five of eight from the charity line. Total of 12 points on the night. Morrow fires this one up. It's in. 49-41, Bowling Green, eight-point lead, 3.46 to play. Bertram goes to the rack and lays it up, oh, missed it. Rebound wow. to Whitson. Gives to Morrow. Morrow into the front court with it. Crossover move, lost the handle, and going to get a foul. And again on Bailey Pettigo, her third, team seven. And Morrow will go back to the free throw line once again. One of the bonus. Shot is in the air, and it is coming off. Rebound to Hadley Hammer for the Trojanettes. Bailey Pettigo pushing it down the floor. Left side, and a collision. Offensive foul. Bailey Pettigo, her fourth, team's eighth. Got three real quick fouls, right? Back to back to back fouls on Bailey. He's got to play, though. Yeah. 329 still to play. There's plenty of time down to eight. 49 41. Eve Jackson will check into the Trojan head lineup for Bailey Pettigo. I don't know who runs the offense right now. We took Bailey out with those four fouls. And Bowling Green's Raglan will bounce it off to Jones. Jones gets it across. 322 to play. Picked off by Hammer. Here comes Hanley Hammer to the basket. Lays it up. Missed the layup. Rebound to Bowling Green. And we'll get a foul on Eve Jackson. Her first. Team's ninth of the second half. It's two layups we missed. Pretty much uncontested. Make a huge difference right now instead of Bowling Green at the line. We've got four more points on the board. Raglan puts it up and in. 50-41. Extending the Lady Purple lead to nine with 3.14 to play. Bailey Pettigo just went out for a moment for Hanley Hammer. Raglan back over the strike. 59% shooter on the year. 
And it's up, and it is no good. Trying to chase it down is England. She's got it. Gets rid of it to Bailey Pettigo. 3.08 to play. Trojanets need a bucket. Here's Eve Jackson. Baseline shot is over the rim. Morrow with it for Bowling Green. 2.59 to play. Morrow against Bertram. Driving left side. Sends it back out front now to Raglan. Raglan veers off right, goes under, puts up the shot, is partially blocked. Battle for the basketball, and who's going to get the foul here? It's on Raglan. It's Bowling Green. That's going to be her fifth. Team's eighth. And we'll walk to the other end where Bailey Pettigo will shoot the one in bonus. 2.39 left. And Carly Delk will check in to the Trojan Ed lineup for Eve Jackson. Gray back in for Bowling Green. Raglan fouls out with 10 points on the night. Bailey Pettigo. Five of eight from the charity stripe tonight. Free throw is in the air, and it's no good. Rebound to Bowling Green. Missing layups, missing free throws. It's tough. Yeah. Two and a half minutes to go. 50 to 41. Lady Purples. They really can't fail. And timeout by Coach Calvin Head. With 2.24 to play, it's Bowling Green 50, Barron County 41. Trojanette still with only one field goal the entire second half. And three of seven from the free throw line, all by Bailey Pettigo. And that's been it for the entire second half. Yeah. We're approaching six, seven, 13, almost 14 minutes 14 without minutes. a field goal. Yeah. Have an Ernie T's timeout. Ernie T's Barbershop across from TSC on Scottsville Road and Go Tops. Coca-Cola breaking the action. Open to Coke and enjoy the game. We've got another game coming up tonight. Logan County Lady Cougars, the champions of District 13, 21 and 10 against District 16 runner-up Metcalf County at 10 and 16. And then tomorrow night at 6 o'clock, Russell County, 24 and 6. The District 16 champs, 15th District runner-up Glasgow, 21 and 9. And in the second game tomorrow night, South Warren, champions of District 14 at 29 and 3 against the District 13 runner-up Todd County Central at 14 and 14. Boys action will start on Wednesday. Bowling Green only led for a minute and 39 seconds through the first three quarters. They have not given up that lead. They extended it here in the fourth quarter. Ball comes out tomorrow. Morrow being chased by Bertram. Now she's in a trap. Fires it back off now to Jones. Jones back to Morrow. Morrow putting down the dribble. Driving to the left side. Goes into the corner. Now in a trap. Needs help. Has to call another timeout. 2-10 to play. Well, the boys region starts Wednesday night. Bowling Green, the District 14 champs, 21 and 10. Against runner-up in District 16, Clinton County at 18 and 12. Second game Wednesday night, Todd County Central, who uh, won the 13th district for the first time in 15 years, 18 and 12. Takes on District 15 runner-up Monroe County at 19 and 10. And then on Thursday night, Russell County 12 and 20 against Franklin Simpson 7 and 22. And the night camp on Thursday night, the Glasgow Scotties at 22 and 8 against the Warren Central Dragons 26 and 5. All the action right here on Nash Icon throughout the week. The 20 to 5 second half so far. Ball comes out tomorrow. And Hammer reached in, tried to tie it up, and then got jerked away. And then Jones has it. Gives it back over to Gray. And Gray's going to be fouled by Hammer. Hadley Hammer, her fourth, team's tenth. Puts Bowling Green to the double bonus with 2.01 to go. Hadley Hammer, that's her fourth, team's tenth. 
She's a 60% free throw shooter. Bowling Green as a team shoots almost 70% from the line. Yeah. Shot goes up, good for Gray. I think it's safe to say it was a Barron County first half and a Bowling Green second. Yep, that's true. They did enough to keep pace with us in the first half, and uh, we have not in the second. Second shot missed badly, and rebound to England. Gives it off to Bailey Pettigo. Going to have to get some shots up quick. Here is Jackson. Has a shot blocked from three-point range. That's Whitson's got it. That's not the shot we need, don't we? They give it to Keeley Morrow. Morrow behind the back dribble. Goes off a double screen left. Sends it out to Whitson with 1.39 to play. And we get a foul on Carly Delk. It's going to be her second. Trying to cut off Gray. Bowen Green completely eliminated Elizabeth Bertram in the second half. She only had three shots in the third quarter, and I can't remember very many in the fourth after she had 13 in the first half. Gray hits the first. She's a freshman at 5'5". 52 to 41, Bowling Green. Second shot is up and good for Gray. 53-41, Bowling Green. A minute 35 to go in the ball game. Left side with it is Bertram. Bertram cut off. Gives it in the corner. England's going to put up a three-point shot. No good. Rebound to Bowling Green. Ball gets loose. Bailey Pettigo feeds it back off underneath. Bertram shot it too strong against the glass. Delk no good. Bowling Green with a rebound. That sequence sums the night up. Everything just gone ice cold in the second half for Barron County. The foul at midcourt on Carly Delk. That'll be her third with a minute and 11 to play. Bowling Green will be at the foul line. And it appears right now the Lady Purples will move into the semifinals on Friday night. They'll face either Logan County or Metcalf County. And Barron County's outstanding season at 25 and 6 is about to come to an end. And the free throw by Gray is good. That goes just tired. You got three kids that played all 24 minutes through the first three quarters. Elizabeth and Bailey and McKenzie. And you just can't sustain that for 32 minutes at an up and down pace. Gray puts it in the air and it rims good. She's five out of six from the line. 55-41 Bowling Green. And a pass almost thrown away. Bertram on the left baseline is double team. In trouble. Pass is deflected. Another turnover by Barron. And it's Gray bouncing it off into the front court now. Jones, 55 seconds to go. Now gets rid of it tomorrow. Back to Gray. Gray trying to split the defenders. A reach in foul. And it's on Hadley Hammer. And that'll be her fifth foul. As Hadley Hammer plays her last high school basketball game for the Barron County Trojanettes. The only senior on the Barron County team this year. Everybody else will be back next year, and hopefully Mallory Pettigo will be back 100%. It's unfortunate she suffered the ACL injury just this past weekend and not able to play. I tell you, I, I absolutely hate it for Hadley. I had, Hadley has to put up with me. I had Hadley in first grade when I started teaching in first grade. She's had to put up with me ever, <laughs> almost years since. So I, you will not find a better kid around. She's got a bright future ahead of her, but I didn't want her basketball season to end tonight. Gray hits the first. She'll have one more. It's on the way, and it pops out. England with a rebound gives it to Bailey Pettigo. 45 seconds to play. Bailey Pettigo driving, throws up the shot. It's no good. Battle for the rebound. Tapped out. Delk trying to chase it down. Marl's got it. Gets with the basketball. Bowling Green with it as Gray will cross the midcourt line. 32 seconds to play. And now gets rid of it off to Brown. Brown now gives to Jones. 24 seconds to go. And a foul on Mackenzie England will be her second. Here's the, here's the trivia question I was going to ask you earlier. There have been four girls from the 15th district that have torn their ACL in the last few years, either in the postseason or right at the postseason. It's like the 15th district curse. 
Jones hits the free throw. She'll have one more. Well, Mallory, yeah. there to go. Morgan Rich from Allen County, Scottsville. Yep. Ellie Bartley from Glasgow. Yep. And let me see. Let me think. Got one more. Allen County, Scottsville. Savannah Gregory. Mm -hmm. Yep. Four pretty good players. Yep. 57-41, Bowling Green, 21.8 to play. At the conclusion of the game, we'll have the Oak Tree Awards and South Central Kentucky Community and Technical College Player of the Game Award. Free throw is good for Jones. 58-41, Trojanettes have only scored five points the entire second half. Now what do we got here? I have no idea. She's already shot two free throws. I have no idea what she's doing. How does she get three? I'm not sure what the confusion is. The sub was for the shooter. I just didn't hmm. administer that one very miscommunication well. Miscommunication there. Yeah. 58-41, Bowling Green. Bailey Pettigo with it for the Trojanettes. Off the left corner, England. Give it back to Bailey Pettigo. Driving the bucket. Throws it up and in. Off the left side. Second field goal of the second half. 58-43. Seven seconds to play. Bowling Green with the basketball. And they go down to the corner. Lobs it underneath. And it's knocked out of bounds. And that'll do it. And Bowling Green wins. 58-43.